Hi there, let's go on and continue part two of rendering our brocade. Now you can see here I have my white colored pencil and I am adding fine lines going vertically up and down. I'm starting at the hem and I'm working my way upward. Once again, these lines that I'm adding are very faint, but it feels like threads on a fabric. So we're gonna layer lots of those. Here I am going to add just some details on the bodice. So this is just a little bit of white that I'm adding to the brocade design just so that we can make sure that the shadows don't overtake everything. And once again, I'm going back to that first blue marker and starting from that hem area, I'm going to add color on top of the white colored pencil that I've just laid down. This is really all about layering. <laughs> And now I'm going to use the fine point side of my marker to define that very bottom edge at the hem.
And here I'm going to go back to my metallic gold marker and I'm adding just the tiniest bits of highlights to make sure that all the detail doesn't get covered over with my shadows. Ah, now we're coming down to a very significant portion of our tutorial. I have black colored pencil and now I'm doing horizontal lines. This is going to feel areas, like In some areas you'll want to have right your on top curved of everything. Very lines very gently instead of completely You want to be horizontal. able to see them but you don't want them to overpower the sketch. That's going to feel like thread and this is helpful in rendering your brocade. Now you'll notice I did not put these horizontal lines across every single part of that brocade design, but you could choose to do that. So I have just chosen select areas where I wanted to render these horizontal lines. You could certainly go across the entire sketch because those lines and do here make I it have feel like blue woven colored in pencil reds, adding horizontal but I've lines only chosen on top to of the black on the bottom edges that of I just our finished dress you want to have that and then mixing on the left side and the right side tone. so that that center brocade design stands out but of course you can opt to have your horizontal lines go across that center as well that's just a choice of preference And now you can see we are going to put our shadows on top of that. So this layering effect is what helps to give your brocade a realistic look. So I have my 
very first color once again putting some of those shadows back into place on top of those horizontal lines Here I'm adding white colored pencil now. So I'm going up and down and then horizontal lines and some of these lines are going to be curved and wavy. So this up and down is for the highlights. And that highlight situation is mostly on the left sides of all of my details. Some of it is on the right, but mostly on the left because that's where my light source is for this particular sketch. And here you can see horizontally adding some of those lines that feel like stitches with the nice layering effect this is very very softly added on top of my details Thank you. 
And this here is my yellow colored pencil, a few horizontal lines that way. Some of those horizontal lines, once again, can be slightly curved and you can pick strategically where you wanna place them. That concludes the rendering of our brocade dress. I'm really excited to see what you've created. So feel free to send me a picture of your work on Instagram at Coriosuna. And until we meet again in our next video, happy sketching.